What's up, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your girl, Grace, and I am back with another video for you guys. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And most importantly, y'all, make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so y'all don't miss when your girl come back through with these bangers, y'all. Y'all don't want to be late to none of my videos. So y'all got to make sure that y'all not only subscribe, that y'all got that post notification bell on with the vibrating symbols on the side of the bell so you'll be notified to your tablet, your computer, your TV, your phone when I upload another video, y'all. But anyways, I'm done rambling. By that title, by that thumbnail, y'all already know what's finna go down today. So today I'm going to be talking about CJ Sakul, Kamara, and Jalea. Um, if y'all don't know that he had posted a video said that Jalea had got expelled from school. And also he had posted another video basically saying that him and um, Kamari had just got into it after she just left. So I'm going to touch bases on that and let you guys know how I feel about the whole situation. But until then, don't skip this video. Watch this whole video all the way through. Until then, we finna get into this video. Who? Okay, y'all, we finna get into this video. I feel so cute today. Hold on, let me pose for y'all for a minute. Hold on. Okay, I'm just playing. But anyways, y'all, y'all only here because of the title of the video. Y'all love the tea and y'all love how I respond to these videos. So, oh my God. I don't even know which one I want to start with first. So, I'm going to start off with Kamari and CJ. So, CJ so cool. You know he got to run to the internet about every last single thing. As if we got to know everything about their life. But anyway, so he posted a video and said that right after he dropped off Kamari, him and Kamari had got into it. Which, this is my first time ever agreeing with CJ So Cool. I feel him on that. So he said that Kamari had texted him and said, send me $50. As if just send me $50, as if she's talking to a child or she's talking to one of her friends or something. You know what I'm saying? You just don't text your dad or your mom and say, and say send me $50. Like, I don't know. Everybody upbringing is different. I would not allow... If my son ever came to me and said, or text me and said, send me $50 or send me $40, I'm like, hello, how you doing? Like, excuse me, who you think you talking to type shit. That's just me. I don't know. Everybody grow up different. So that's why I say I feel CJ so cool on that tip because he is basically saying, I'm your dad. You supposed to say, like, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Can you please send me $50? Which I agree with that 100%. And it's going to be a lot of y'all that's going to be disagreeing about that, but I feel him on that one like I definitely do. And y'all gotta y'all gotta admit that he was right on there that should no child of anybody just text a mom or dad and say, send me some money and not without saying how you doing, what you doing, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I kind of feel him on that situation. And I hope and pray that Kamari mom don't respond because it's just gonna go somewhere where it don't need to be. So I guess after CJ Soku made that video, Kamari goes on Instagram and make a post and basically calling her dad a liar. Like she's only what, 10, 11 years old and you calling your dad a whole liar, but you was just there living your best life, like having so much fun. So I'm not coming from no, hold on, let me say this. Let me say this. I'm not coming for a child. I'm not coming for, I'm not coming for Kamari. I'm not coming for Nike and I'm not coming for CJ. So cool. This channel is me just expressing how I feel about what's going on social media, whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong. This is just how I feel about the whole situation. She should have asked her dad in a well-mannered way, rather than just, just texting and say, send me $50, even though he still sent her the $50, but she should have just said, hi dad, uh, can you please send me $50? I'm trying to go to the mall with my friends. That would have been more respectful rather than just saying, send me $50. So that's the reason why I say I hope and pray that Nike don't make a video because this just this story is going to go on and on and on and on and on. And then sometimes kids just lie. I'm not saying I'm not calling Kamari lie, but this is just in general. Like some kids just make up stories. Like my kids sometimes just make up little stories, but you catch them in their lies. You feel me? But that's just how I feel about that whole situation. So on to the next situation. Before he dropped that video, he had dropped a video saying that Jalea got expelled from school on the fourth day of school. How do you get expelled on the fourth day of school? So I, I clicked on it because of the title. So I clicked on it and I'm like, how the hell did she get suspended? 
already on the fourth day is it because of racism like what is it my mind was going all over the place so i guess i don't know if y'all can hear my dog in the background but i am so sorry but anyways um he had posted a video saying that she got kicked out of school for four days and so we had to wait till she got home from school to for him to actually explain what was going on so she got expelled for wearing inappropriate clothes which she wasn't showing anything there was nothing i guess where she goes to school at in vegas is really 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 they're really really strict you know what i'm saying i guess they're one of the top one schools best schools that there is in vegas so they want their kids to look representable if they want their kids looking representable if you're gonna complain about what they wearing why won't y'all change the rules and make everybody wear uniforms but that's just me that's just how i feel um so what she had on, she had on some black jeans and it had like little rips in it or whatever. Really, it was not really nothing. Like, I don't even know why they suspended her. But I guess, like I said, every place you go going to have their own rules and, and speculations. And you're going to have to respect that. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't respect it, they suspend you from school. But at least they should have warned her, though. It was day four. And then she just auto automatically just get kicked out of school for four days, even though she's on punishment for that. But I don't know if she knew that before she went to school that she wasn't supposed to wear that or whatever. I don't know. But then he also went on saying that um, they got a stalker. Jalea got a stalker at her school, which stuff like that you got to take serious. And I guess the guy had the little boy had went to the sleepover. We wouldn't even know who the little boy is because everybody was running around playing, having fun. So we would never know who that one person is that was waiting at his waiting at his car when he had left the airport. We would never know. I feel like my allergies going to mess up. So I guess um, the guy, he never knew that the little boy knew where he stayed at. So the little boy popped up unexpectedly at the sleepover party. And then now all of a sudden this little boy goes to Jaleel's school. And I guess he is just like stalking her or whatever. And she just being nice because she don't want to be mean. So I guess that same little boy, you know, did something very inappropriate that I don't want to repeat on here, which is not really that bad i mean that deep but i just don't want to say it on here but i guess he had did something real inappropriate or whatever but i feel something like that if she felt uncomfortable i feel like she should have told the teacher so the little boy could have got in trouble or expelled or something like that i don't know but it just seemed like she's getting real like she's getting picked on at school or whatever so and it's another thing when he made that video you guys i don't know if y'all caught what he said he has said um because I guess she is all about drip and wearing nice clothes or whatever. And CJ had asked her, he's like, you not ugly. What you think you ugly? And she actually said yes. But nobody like caught on to that. I don't know if it's a lot of y'all that caught on to that. If y'all seen that video, um, please let me know in the comment section. If you saw that video and you heard her say, when CJ said, who said, um, you're not ugly. Do you think you're ugly? And she was like, yeah. Like, I was just like, oh my God. Like some people go through those stages where you know they just not they don't feel cute or whatever but i don't care what color skin color you in you are beautiful inside and out i don't care and i'm gonna drill that in my kids head because i don't want nobody bullying my kids in school calling them black and ugly or you know you a bummy or bum or something like that i don't want my kids to ever have to go through that i want them to know if anybody ever say mean things about you don't cry stand there strong on 10 toes and just ignore them you know what I'm saying? Because deep down, whatever that person is saying about you, got some got in insecurities going on within themselves. So they got to make the next person feel bad. So I'm going to drill that in my kids' head because right now they're in school and, you know, kids are mean. Kids are just going to say stuff just for attention. You know what I'm saying? So that goes all back and forth when I'm talking about Jalea. You know, people just, you know, just want to pick on her, blah, blah, blah. So, and I'm pretty sure... There was a lot of other kids in that school that was wearing stuff that was not supposed to be worn in school. If anything, y'all shouldn't make the whole school wear uniforms. Like, don't that make sense, though? Like, don't complain about what they wear. I guess they're just supposed to be wear flat-out jeans and just a regular shirt. You can't have no rips in it. So, I guess they got to take her shopping again because everything that she has have, like, those little rips in it and stuff like that. So, she's in high school. I mean, that is the style of those type of jeans or whatever. But I guess the school that she go to, they ain't having it. So that's just how I feel about this whole situation, y'all. I need y'all to put in the comment section and let me know how y'all feel about it because that's just how I feel. Like I said, let me say this again. 
I'm not coming for no child. I'm not coming for Nike and I'm not coming for CJ So Cool. Like I said, I'm saying my opinion on how I feel about the situation. Okay, just like I do in all my other videos. But y'all still gonna find a way to comment in the comment section saying I'm coming for a child. Y'all still gonna say in the comment section that I'm wrong or blah, 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 blah. Like I already know that y'all gonna come for me. Whether I feel how I feel or if I'm telling the truth or I'm not telling the truth. Either way it go, y'all gonna find something negative to bring to this channel in my comment section. But guess what? At the end of the day, it's okay because I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. This is what I do on this channel. So if there's any other videos you guys want to see me react to or respond to, just put it in the comment section, y'all. Because this is this is what I do. Like, this is what I do and I enjoy doing what I do. So that will be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope y'all did not skip through this video. I really hope y'all watched the whole video all the way through without skipping. Because if you skipping, then you just going to be like, what is she talking about? Blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to run to my comment section saying this and that and the third. Make sure you get your facts right. Watch the whole entire video. But until then, y'all, I'm gone. Peace out.